hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome thank you so much for clicking this video so i'm obviously in a different area <laughs> in a whole different setting so i'm actually on my lunch break at work for those who don't know i do have a regular nine to five and i am blessed enough to work from home so i'm on my lunch break right now and i wanted just to, to just film a quick update video not no long talking i actually have my little list here that i made on my notes because i want to keep it strictly like to the point so um a lot of changes has been happening lately with me and uh, i feel like i'm on the trajectory if i keep myself accountable which i'll speak about in this video that greatness is gonna come i feel it and i feel like um i'm just excited to see what god does and how he's going to move so like i said i have a list i'm not gonna be here with the long talking because i don't want to keep y'all for too long but i'll get started on different things so um i guess something that people have been asking me are some of the things that i'm i'm gonna go through right now but one of the biggest things people have been asking me lately is like do you still dance do you still post dance content yada yada i love to dance I love heels dance. I think it's an amazing, it's like a beautiful work of art. Just, I love it. I have not danced in a while. Um, I'm not going to say I don't do it anymore as if I'm not planning to go back, but I haven't danced in a while. Um, it's just a little bit of a hassle for me, less than it used to be, uh, more than it used to be, I should say, because... Um, I have been going through some health issues, which is something else I'm going to talk about as well. I've been going through some health issues where I can't have the stress that dancing does put on my body, my limbs and all of that as often as I used to. I used to be in dance classes two to three times a week, honey, training, just getting into training because it's something that I love and was so passionate about doing because I wanted to teach dance classes and I still think I'm able to do it. I've done it before. Um, but with the health issues I was dealing with or am dealing with, I wanted to calm down as well as if we're being honest, some, some aspects of the dance community did change a little bit. It came, it became more about the video, getting in front of the camera, doing all of that stuff rather than just training and living in the moment. And me, myself, I felt myself getting to the point of just wanting to be in front of a camera. Like I was super hyper focused on what am I gonna wear? I gotta look cute in front of this, like yada yada. And then when I would see these videos, I would talk down on myself so much like, uh, you're fat in this, you didn't do your split right, blah, 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 blah. And it started to show in my dancing, right? I also wasn't being as consistent at home with my stretching and all of that. So I didn't see the progression that I personally wanted to see so that was a thing as well and when i i saw myself being so focused on wearing makeup to a dance class that i know i'm gonna sweat off and and making sure i have the cute fishnets to go under this or whatever um i was like yeah girl you're, you're starting to do it for the wrong reasons now you're not doing it for the reason that you did before so i decided to take a step back because I needed to be dancing for the right reasons. And also, I had to put my health first. I had to. Um, so to jump into the health portion of it, I found out I had PCOS um, probably like over a year ago. Um, I need to look at the exact date of that appointment. I've been trying to get it out of my head. But you can see my PCOS video in a prior video. I'm not even going to get into that. But I did find out I have PCOS and um, my husband and I have been married in March will make three years and we did decide that we wanted to start a family and uh, we noticed that nothing was happening. We were doing the do and doing all the things but nothing was happening. So one of the biggest like side effects, the biggest things of PCOS is infertility. So a year ago in December, I decided to, that's December of 2022, 
I decided to go to a fertility specialist and just get checked out. And I had to do a lot of changes. The stresses, the stress, um, body weight, a lot of different things to be able to um, possibly conceive a child. Um, I haven't conceived yet, but we're trusting God through the process. But I have been going through a lot of medication, a lot of treatments. I'm talking about trigger shots, 50 different medications, in and out for sonograms. I've done IUIs, I've done medicated cycles, all of that. And I'll make a separate video just on that topic. But I have been doing that for a while and it has been a time. It has been a struggle. Um, so yeah, that's the health portion of it. And also I'm not going to dive deep into it, but I have been dealing with family things with, um, parents, grandparents, whoever have been going through their own health things. So I have been hyper-focused on that as well. So that's where the health portion comes in. <clears throat> and honestly, through that, I, I had to like switch up eating and all that. And I will say... Eating is the hardest thing. Staying consistent with eating is the hardest thing because I love food. And I'm also a Caribbean girl. We love food. Rice and peas. Ugh. Browns through chicken, oxtail, curry, go all of the things. And PCOS, it kind of limits what you can eat. And I am not the best. I love me some gluten. But we gotta be gluten free. I love me some dairy. I love cheese. I hate milk, but I love cheese. Don't ask me why. But it's one of the things that doesn't help. So, um, I've been I've been going through it a lot with that. But I have made it my like I've made it my purpose. I feel like I just need to share my story because someone else is going through it, but they're not speaking about it, and they feel like they're alone. Because I felt like I was alone. So I do speak about my journey, not as often as I would like. But um, because, of course, in the moment when you see those negative tests and you hear that this follicle is super tiny or this isn't growing or this didn't work, you're not in the mood to speak at the moment. But like I said, if you want a separate video about my PCOS journey and my infertility journey and and all the treatments I've been through and yada yada, comment down below and I will do that a separate video. I plan on keeping you guys updated anyway as life goes on but yeah so next on my list is I have this is good news I think depending on how you look at it I have decided to go back to school to get my master's degree um, I currently have my bachelor's degree in um, Human resources management. I love human resources. People don't like it, but I love it. Do I like working with certain types of humans? No, but you find these type of humans in every job, no matter what field you're in. I love human resources, so I am furthering my education right now, and I, I took that leap of faith. I am in an accelerated program. I got accepted in an accelerated program. Thank you, Lord. So I'm hoping to finish it sooner than it would take a normal master's degree program to finish. But we'll try that out and see how it goes. I started the beginning of this month. It is currently December 13th. Um, it's a time. But I'm, I'm going to finish it. And I actually have hope. From one of my co-workers who I really trust and she's my friend. I don't even know why I call her a co-worker anymore. She's my friend. So I trust her. And we are helping each other out because we're both in the same program. Because we do have the same goals. Um, and we bonded over a lot of things including the whole PCOS situation. So that's happening. And I'm going to tell y'all she is not easy. Especially because in this next version of what I'm going to say. I have decided to start a business. Yeah. She, me, her has decided to start a business as well as start a master's program, as well as trying to start a family. I don't know why, but it has been put on my heart and I feel like I can do it and I love to do it. 
So as you've been seeing, since there hasn't been a lot of dance content, whatever, I do vlogs, but then I also love my dance content, but then I, I've been dabbling in hair. And I've always, always loved hair. I've never went to cosmetology school. I never did none of that. I'm the type of person, I'm an old school fool. I will look at someone do things a million times and then I'll get somebody, get a little cousin or something like, hey, let me try this on your head and then I'll do it. That's what happened. <laughs> so for me with like, I've been working with mostly, mostly synthetic wigs because it's more affordable. It's quick, easy on the go. You pop that sucker on, put some foundation on it, do what you got to do. And you out the door with the already styled wig. But, and, and I honestly saw that you guys liked it. You guys had a real taking to my hair content, which I love. And thank you guys so much for your support. So much that I have decided to start Love Toya Hair. Love Toya Hair. I have started my own wig business. And I know you're probably thinking, girl, these hair companies is wig businesses. It's too saturated. It got too many people in there. Like, what are you going to do? And something that I did with this that's different from what I did with my dancing, I'll be honest. I took it I took it to my father. When I say I took it to my father, I, I am a Christian. I, I do love the Lord. Um, <clears throat> I took it to Jesus. I took it to my Lord God. And I was just like, bro. I was like, you think this could be a thing? This is where my heart is. Do you think this could be a thing? And I didn't feel any way about it. I gave it, I gave my business, I gave my school, I gave my infertility, I gave it all to God. And I was just like, these these are the things that I really want to do right now. And I think I'll be great at it. It'll be amazing. So, <clears throat> like, Lord, just help me through it. And I, and I went through some time, like maybe like a week or two, not a lot of time, but just went through some time of just like speaking with the Father and, and and um, trying to understand and make sure that this is the right path and I feel like it is. So I have decided to start Love Toya here and it is amazing. Um, I didn't just jump up and say, oh, I wanna do wigs and blah, blah, blah. I, I did the, I, I did the, the leg work. So just like I mentioned before, I've always loved hair. I've always been dabbling in hair. And I have, um, there is this, this lady, her name is Judith Dose. Or you may know her as Dose Mateo. And I have been watching her for a while because I do know her from when I went to high school with her. And I would always watch her YouTube videos. I would watch her Instagram. And I'm a stalker. I would look at things. I'm not in a creepy way. And she was doing courses um, to be certified in making wigs on a sewing machine. And I usually do wigs by hand. Or I buy the wig and I customize the wig. So I wanted to learn how to make a wig on a sewing machine because when it's, I wanted it to be my baby. Love Toya Hair is my baby. And I wanted to make sure I curated it the way that I wanted to, as in how the, the wefts are sewn on the cap, what type of cap I use, what type of lace, if it's a, if it's a frontal, if it's a five by six, um, two by six, whatever it is, lace closure. I wanted to make sure that I was able to do that because I wanted to be able to customize things for people make wigs for people if you have your own bundles i will make the wig for you i will bleach it and i will do all of the things and she taught that so i i did i paid the coin i don't know how but i paid the coin my husband told me he supports me through it all and he helped me out and I, we paid that coin and i got certified got certified and her course it's it's so much knowledge and i'm not saying it just because um just because i know her um i'm being truthful and i'm very honest on this channel i i'm honest in in everyday life but on this channel and she was very um detailed and she wasn't gatekeeping like i wanted to make sure i went to someone because she's not the only person i looked at i looked at at least 10 other people who offered the courses and i'm talking about i stalked it and it was really between her and this other person um and i and i chose her because i was like you're a woman of faith also 
I can tell you don't gatekeep because you have all this information on your YouTube channel as well. So you're not trying to gatekeep and you're going to give me the information I need. Plus she has a refresher course within the course that you can take within 30 days of completing your course. So that was, that was the kicker for, that's what sent it over the moon for me. I was like, oh, so I could practice for how much in days and then come back for a refresher for things that I need help on, which is what I did. Okay. And it was just, it was like a fruitful course. It was helpful and I'm so happy that I did it because, yeah, she was able to give me all the tea about like vendors, things to ask the vendors, um, packaging, products, branching off into like, because I don't want it to just, it's, it's called Love Toya Hair and not Love Toya Wigs for a purpose. I don't want it to be only wigs. I want it to be edge control. I want it to be mousse. I want it to be condition. Like I want to branch out and make this like a thing. And I am going to do that. I am going to do it. Absolutely. And she was able to give me the tools to jumpstart it. And it was just really good. I don't know if I need to make a separate video just reviewing her course and everything as a whole but I will if you want me to but it was it was actually very informative very organized she ain't show up late to nothing if anything I'm the one who had the problems with the technology she didn't show up late to nothing she sent texts as a reminder you got emails as a reminder confirmation email so you know you wasn't sc getting scammed because I was also afraid of getting scammed by certain people it was really really good so all in all got certified in um, making a wig on the sewing machine. I have been making a lot of different wigs since. I haven't sold them to anyone. I've been customizing wigs for people kind of like on a little low if they ask me to. Um, but I haven't like launched my website, all of that, because I'm getting different things ready. I have my business cards ready. I bought my domain name. Um, I want to get my LLC all ironed out so nobody can steal my name right now I bought the domain name and made my Instagram my TikTok all of the things everything love Toya is is me and love Toya here is me you can obviously see that the, the real real piece is just getting that LLC certified and I have to save up enough money to do that so my plan is honestly and I'm telling y'all all my business is to get some stuff sold make some wigs do what i gotta do and use that profit to get my my llc so that you know we all good <laughs> um yeah so you're probably thinking i'm doing too much you're probably thinking girl we don't care but i feel like right now i'm leveling i'm leveling up my life and how i'm doing that is is simple especially because it's december and and January is right around the corner. I'm not waiting until January 1st to go, oh my gosh, New Year's resolution. I'm not doing that. It's starting now. Like, um, you'll see in a separate video, I'm going to be doing my vision board. And I, I have a few scriptures that I've been leaning on for this upcoming year. I am giving my heart, my heartaches, my burdens, everything, um that makes me feel heavy laden. I'm giving it to the Lord so he can give me rest. And I'm just so excited. So how I'm leveling up my life is a few things. I have been trying to remain consistent and I'm not gonna sit in here and act like I am consistent with everything. As y'all see, the last video was posted four weeks ago. Your girl is trying, but plan, 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 schedule, schedule, schedule. That is the name of the game. I have bought a calendar that is going to be over my work desk plus over my workstation that I do my my five to nine, not my nine to five, but five to nine station over in the other room. I will have um, my vision board also keeping me accountable. I also have my village, my my husband, my in-laws, everybody's so supportive. My mom, my dad, everyone's so supportive and they've been holding me accountable, asking me all the questions. It's annoying, but they hold me accountable. Um, I'm also starting a routine because like I said, I need to get my health together. So your girl has been going to Pilates. I'm a Pilates girly now. 
it's a little expensive club pilates y'all are expensive even and and the discount is only for the most expensive thing and it's like ten dollars off but i it's been very helpful in keeping me routine and disciplined um i'm going to get back into my early morning gyms which is a good thing i used to go to the gym in the morning like seven six seven o'clock and then be home before nine o'clock to be able to make breakfast and, and get set up for work so we're gonna start doing that again um and yeah we're just gonna get it rocking and rolling leveling up takes a lot and leveling up is is ooh, it's it's easier said than done but if you you're doing it for the right reasons it'll happen like i'm not doing this just because i want money yes it's a perk and i hope i get a good bag out of this i'm praying but i genuinely love what i do and it's it's so weird none of them are on the same track i love human resources i love my job i also love content creation i love posting videos i love sharing my life on all of the platforms and i love hair so what am I'm a slasher. I'm going to do this. HR slash content creator slash business owner. All of the things. I'm a slasher and I'm going to do it. And I love it. And I feel like don't let anyone tell you you can't do all of the things. You just have to remain consistent, organized, give yourself a plan, a realistic plan and a schedule to be able to get everything done. And also give yourself grace because... I've made different schedules and they all haven't worked for me, but what do I do? I just continue and I try again. I get up and I try something different until I find something that works for me. So that is the end of the video. My break is almost over, but um, I can't even see it. Yes, my break is almost over, but <clears throat> that is the end of the video if I can leave you with any type of encouragement life is too short if, if COVID showed us anything life is too short to not follow your dreams to not do everything you can to make yourself genuinely happy and I'm smiling ear to ear because I'm so excited for this business and I'm so excited for this journey that I feel like God is about to put me on um just go for it you just gotta do it just go for it and do your research like research is a big thing do your research go for it be smart about it ask for help and give it your everything give it your everything ecclesiastes 9 10 says whatever your hand finds to do do it with all your might for in the realm of the dead where you are going there is neither working nor planning nor knowledge nor wisdom that's my sticky note that's above work do whatever you put your hands to with all your might go hard go for it and those who you love those who love you will support you those who see you going for it will support you um the right people will come don't do it for nobody else but yourself so that is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I am Toya. This is Love Toya. Be on the lookout for Love Toya here. Um, be on the lookout for videos on how I'm balancing PCOS and fertility, master's degree, and starting a business. It's, it's going to be a time, but I'm excited to, that you guys are going to be on this journey with me. And um, yeah, have a good one. <laughs>